Russell Wilson, man. Mike Tomlin, the GOAT, G. Listen, man. Can't nobody doubt Mike Tomlin no more, G. Can't put your, put your doubts back in your pockets, man. That's all I got to say about that. Russ was out there cooking, man. He started a little slow, but <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie, man. Last night was like a movie, G. Like real rap. It was like a movie, G. Like the way Russell came out of that tunnel, boy. That energy was electrified in Pittsburgh, boy. Like, man, Aaron Rodgers ain't stand a chance with all that good energy that was flowing through that building, man. Defense played lights out, which we already know. That's one of the top defenses in the NFL. We already know what type of time they on with Mike Tomlin and the boys. I keep telling you, man, Mike Tomlin always put everybody in the right position to win, bro. That's all he do is win, bro. That's all he know how to do is win. You know what I mean? Mike Tomlin the GOAT for a reason, bro. And this is what I was trying to tell people, bro. Mike Tomlin, right, compared to Sean Payton, bro, when you got a coach that believe in you, that's all about, you know what I mean, what you put in practice and then putting in the stadium, and he believe in you and your team believe in you, is a different outcome because the belief alone will make you do things you never thought you could do. And that's what I've seen from Russell. Everybody always doubting him. But when you got a coach that's like, I see something great in this guy. I know he can do it, this and that. They recruited Russell. They brought him in, and they gave him an opportunity. And he did what he had to do, man. Two, two, two passing touchdowns, you know what I mean? Over 200 and some odd yards. Got that quarterback sneak, you know what I'm saying? And it started off slow, missing a couple of passes, a little short passes. He been, he been gone out of the game for almost a year. And I mean, in stadium games, not practicing a little couple of snaps of a preseason. But one thing, but the difference between Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers is uh, Russell Wilson took the time to, to practice with his wide receivers and his guys. You know what I mean? He took the, the effort into being a great leader by trying to practice with them, learning their uh, skill sets and learning their where they want the ball and things of that nature. Russell did that. And Mike Tomlin and them boys, they make it for sure that you, you practice hard so you can perform in the stadium. And Mike Tomlin is the GOAT, man. I just feel like, man, he don't get enough credit, man. That decision that he made was risky, right? But he did it anyway because he believed that he can get the most out of Russell Wilson. And like I said before, man, the sky's the limit for this team. I really got... I really got a lot of belief that 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 Mike Tom. That's why everybody kept saying Russell Wilson should go to the Steelers. Everybody kept saying Justin Fields should go to the Steelers because Mike Tomlin is gonna put them guys in a, in a position of winning and getting better and better. You know what I mean? I feel like Russell Wilson, his his thing is having a coordinator and a coach to understand his skill sets. Like they always say in basketball and and different games of football, play within the system that 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 best fit your quarterback. Michael Vick compared to Peyton Manning to Tom Brady to the Aaron Rodgers. Play within the system. Lamar Jackson. Play within the system that makes your quarterback the best at his ability. And that's what I feel like my man Mike Tomlin doing and Arthur Smith over there, man. You know what I mean? George Pickens, man, he was man, he was making some unbelievable catches, man. Like I say, Russ uh uh Russell Wilson had to get some of that rust off from his arm, his the, those passes and things of that nature coming short, this and that. But that ain't really Russ like that. You know what I mean? I said he got to get warmed up. But he, he he was cooking, man. And like I said before, I'm a Russell Wilson guy, man. I didn't think, I ain't know how this move was going to happen or what was going to happen with the move. But at the end of the day, man, it was like a movie to me, man. I was, man, in the car, man, doing my little deliveries, bro. And I was in that joint just going crazy. And, you know, I'm an Eagles guy. So, you know, I'm like, I got something rooting for Russ all the way, man. And like I said before, when you got a guy like Mike Tomlin, bro, I keep I keep going back to the coach, bro. Sean Payton did not like Russell Wilson. Mike Tomlin rocked with Russell Wilson and Justin Fields. So when you got a coach that believe in you, you got a coordinator that believe in your skill set and know how to bring the best out of you, the passing game, they said they scored more points, like 37 points to 15. Come on, two interceptions on Aaron Rodgers. Bro... They was up for the challenge, bro. And th just think about this, right? The Jets supposed to be a Super Bowl team, right? Right with The Jets supposed to be a Super Bowl team. The Steelers beat them. The Steelers have been beating the Lamar Jacksons. They've been beating them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they beat uh, our top teams in, in the AFC. <laughs> so now that, like, you just get a good, some, some little good quarterback play. 
you're gonna be able to beat him. But think of Russell Wilson beat Buffalo last year. I'm if not mistaken. I think he beat, probably beat the Chiefs last year too. I looked that up again, but I think he beat. I know for sure he beat Buffalo last year. So it's like this defense right here is way better than Denver. Me, this this defense way better than Denver. You know what I'm saying? So, man, bro, when you got a coach that believe in you, ladies and gentlemen, which is Mike Tommy that believe in Russell Wilson, the sky's the limit. I would have put Russell on um, um, Justin Field at them goal line joints and let him run him right in or pass it to the tight end. I would have did that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have did that. I would have played both. To me, I would have played both. But like I said, Mike Tommy know what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the wide receivers, George Pickett would have had his best game. Or Najee Harris, over 100 yards for two games. Like, boy, they was cooking out there, man. They was cooking out there, bro. And they, like I say, they wasn't going to let that turn into the Dallas Cowboys game. Just imagine that Russell played in that Dallas Cowboys game. They would have won that game, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I just don't feel like no offense going to just gonna have an easy deal against that Steelers defense. And if the uh, Steelers offense can just go out there and produce uh, mismatch here and there and find some openness here and there and Russ deliver the ball, they can be in it. They can be in a race. You know what I'm saying? It's always, this is the thing I always say about football, bro. I always say the teams that be real good, they start to lose, right? The teams that be losing start to win. And then you have that team that nobody believes should be in a position. And you're like, what the heck? Green Bay? Green Bay good? Like, remember last year? Green Bay? Like, it be that team that nobody talking about. Or, or, or the Buccaneers? Baker Mayfield? Like, it be, the, it be them teams where I promise you, bro. Every time, every year that the football go down, bro, it be the team that everybody doubted they end up coming out here doing something amazing. And everybody shocked. Just like that year that, um, with um, Matt Jones and uh, the, the Patriots. Like, it's been a lot of years where we've seen. Come on now. Let's go back to even... Where uh, uh, the 49ers with Brock Purdy first came and stuff like came in and stuff. Everybody like, all oh, the season is gone. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it be those moments, bro, like, where everything just changes, where all that doubt be there. The Detroit Lions, like, well, oh, no, they ain't going to never be good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and now they one of the top teams and stuff like the Vikings. Oh, here we go again with them, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's all, every year is like that. I, I, I bet you top dollar. That nobody in their right mind thought that the Pittsburgh Steelers would be number one in their division. Nobody. People put the Browns above the Pittsburgh Steelers. Joe Barrow, they got a better record than the Bengals. They what matching? I think they got a better record. Than, they got a better record than everybody. They and they right there with the Ravens in them. And they got a better record than Joe Barrow, and they got a better record than um the Browns. What? Is this real? Is we talking real? It's Mike Tomlin, bro. Mike Tomlin, bro. The GOAT, bro. I keep telling people, man, this man real, bro. Like, we ain't, like, this, this right, he, he definitely gonna have a gold jacket, man. He one of them guys, and I feel like he gonna get the best out of Russ because he believe in Russ. Sean Payton did not believe in Russ. And we know hacking, like, that, 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 Russ was, had his little ego thing when he went to Denver, and now it's like, it's almost like the Pete Carroll thing all over again, but a little to me a little bit better when you're talking Mike Tomlin. You know what I mean? Because now you in an organization, part of a program where they don't play no games, and it's all about being accountable. Next man up, do your job. You feel what I'm saying? The standards are the standards, and I don't watch no Pittsburgh game. I'm a Philly guy to the heart, but I'm riding with Russ and I'm riding with Mike Tomlin, bro. And this story is so beautiful. I'm talking about, man, I watched that game. That's almost like a movie. Think about how you watch a movie. And if you, in the beginning, it, it started all shaky. And at the end, it's just like this beautiful ending. And that's what happened. Everybody, they had all this doubt. Everybody was talking all this trash. Now they got to suck it up, man. <laughs> got long-winded, man. Russ, they let Russ cook, man. And Mike Tomlin the goat, man. I, I just had to speak my piece on this. It was so beautiful, man. So beautiful, man. God dang it. It was a beautiful game, man. Oh, man, that was beautiful, man. They got the Giants next at home. I can't wait to watch it. I waited all day. I could not wait to watch this game against the Jets. Everybody was talking about Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> you know what I mean? He about to light it up. Whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? He got his butt lit up. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm out, man. Much love, G.